everybody and welcome back to this channel. So in an impulse decision, I decided that I will be participating in the Booktubeathon. I was debating whether to do it or not and I was just like, you know what, I'm gonna do it. I'm probably gonna fail in every challenge, but that's okay. So I have my TBR with me and I wanted to share it with you. So let us get started. So the first challenge is to read a book with the person on the cover. So for this one, I decided that I am going to be reading The Fixer by T.E. Woods. And I don't know if you can see it here, but um, there's an eye in the cover. And this is actually the audiobook cover because I'm going to be listening to it. I don't remember exactly what the physical book cover actually looks like but I think it's a person there too but I am counting this. I actually found this on Hoopla. I was just browsing through it and I've been wanting to read it for a while and it's there so I'm just gonna you know go for it and try to knock it out in this readathon. The second challenge in this readathon is to read a hyped book and I don't buy a lot of hyped books but I did have like two in my bookshelf and I was debating between which one but I decided to go with Eliminate by Jay Kristoff and Amy Kaufman. It's been sitting in my bookshelf for a long time and I also have Gemina and it's still there too and I am just terrible with series altogether but I just decided to buy both of them because I am the person I am. <laughs> anyway, I was hesitant to actually put it in the TBR because it is a very hefty long book but it's also very like it has like mixed media and stuff so I hear it goes by fast for that reason so wish me luck with this one. Now the third challenge is to read a book within a day. This is going to be a little more difficult for me although I picked a book strategically to kind of allow me to be able to read it within a day and for that one it's actually I ordered it and it's still on the mail and it's coming in a few days. It's actually a poetry collection and it's called Uncaged Wallflower and it is by Jenna Cecilia. I have never in my life heard about this author or this book but I was going through Amazon because I wanted to find another poetry collection and um, I saw that one and it looked nice and apparently it's pretty uplifting so I don't know but I'm thinking that I'm going to be able to finish it within a day. I'm, I'm, I mean I should be able to right? I mean I can do it. I can do this. I can do it. I can do it. Challenge number four says, uh, read a book about a character that is different from you. Now this is another book that I found on Hoopla and it seems interesting and it seems like something I would enjoy. Not, I don't think enjoy is a word, but something that I, I would find interesting and would like to learn more about. And this book is called Sakiko, a Nagasaki bomb survivor story and it is written by Karen Stelson. So this is a non-fiction book. Obviously I was not born during World War II, I'm obviously not Japanese and I didn't survive a bomb being dropped in, in my country so <laughs> I think we're pretty different. I'm really looking forward to that one because it just seems like right up my alley type of thing. So anyway Hopefully that one gets done. Challenge number five is read a book outside. I am going to not have a book for this challenge and I am just going to double time it with any of the books that I have mentioned. So it probably will be the poetry collection. I might try to read that one outside. It seems suiting and like, you know, they go together. So I'm gonna try to do that. Otherwise, Nah, it's probably not gonna get done. <laughs> Hand number six is pretty much read a book that you bought because of the cover, so any cover buy. I realized that a lot of the books that I have, I actually bought with an intention to read and none of the ones I already have are cover buys. And the ones that are cover buys, I have already read them or I read them and I bought a better version. So I actually went out to the bookstore today to buy a cover buy and I was literally looking throughout the entire bookstore and trying to just buy something random with a cover that I liked and I couldn't get myself to do it because you know you, I don't feel comfortable spending $20 on a book I may or may not like I need to know that I'm going to enjoy it however another reason why I went to the bookstore is because I was going to get a gift for a friend and I was gonna get her a book hi Letty happy birthday Anyway, as I was looking for a book for her, I bumped into this one and I just thought it was beautiful and I wanted to keep it and I bought it and that is The Problem of Pain by C.S. Lewis and look at that 
cover the colors are beautiful and just the design and it has a kind of page that i like you know that texture page type of thing it's just gorgeous it's beautiful and i mean the content matter i i read um like the little summary on the side and it's actually really interesting it explores just the reasons or reasoning for pain and why pain happens and kind of, kind of that stuff and i mean you cannot go wrong with c.s lewis because c.s lewis he's the man is legit. And then the seventh and final challenge is to read a total of seven books. Now, I'm just gonna go ahead and say it and say that that's not gonna happen because let's be real, I, my average of books read within one month, that's four weeks, is like three to four books. And if this is all supposed to be crammed within one week, and it's a week in which I will be going to work and doing work stuff and coming back home late. So the chances of these books actually getting read are very, very slim. However, in order to like just have a seven book goal in there, I did pick another book today. And that is Steel Heart by Brandon Sanderson. And this book actually... <laughs> I only bought it because a guy at Barnes & Noble recommended it to me. I was going through the YA section because I thought I'd be able to find a really nice cover by there. And then he was like, hey, how can I help you? And I was like, uh, I'm just looking. And he was like, well, what are you looking for? And then I was like, well, I'm doing this readathon, blah, 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 blah. And then he was like, oh, well, I may have a book for you. And so then he recommended me this book and he said he really liked it. Apparently there's like superhero stuff happening and revenge. And so uh, it's, it's a trilogy and this is the first one in it. How I mentioned how terrible I am at following a series. Terrible. So if I am first able to get through the previous mentioned books successfully before that week is over, I will jump into this one. <laughs> Probably not gonna happen. <laughs> Anyway, so that is it for my uh, Booktubeathon TBR list. Will it happen? Will I succeed? Probably not, but hey, doesn't hurt to try, right? Anyway, if you're also doing this readathon, please make sure to comment down on the comments down below and let me know. Also, if you want any more information on the Booktubeathon, you can look for them in Twitter at the Booktubeathon and also on YouTube and on Instagram, I believe. I will link down all like their handles down on the the information box down there. This looks really weird. I'm gonna stop. Anyway, that is it for today. Again, I will link down all the information that you need, including challenges and questions down below, and I will see you later. Bye.